Garth Brooks. Hey, John. Hey, Amanda. How are you, buddy? I am wonderful. I'm so sorry to be a little late. How are you doing? Oh, doing excellent. Okay. Hey, Garth, you haven't done a radio tour like this in years. How are you holding up? Uh, are you kidding me? I'm getting to talk to I, There's some people that are still there, which I, I'm very happy about, and I'm getting to meet a lot of new people. I'm getting, I'm getting to hear a lot of good stories. Garth, I first listened to the Thunder Rolls when I was little, little, and now I'm in country radio thanks to you. Oh, the, that is my <laughs> pleasure, and that's probably the one statement I've got the most that, oh my gosh, Garth, I saw you and your concert was so good. Of course, I was only three so i get that i'm getting that <laughs> how does that feel to hear the thing that you had the best concert feels great the three-year-old thing makes me makes the lower back kind of hurt a little bit. i'm sorry my darling <laughs> well between oh, no. that and you becoming a grandfather over the summer is that hitting you at all i gotta tell you man kids will surprise you in ways you never knew and, and our babies are way too young to be having babies and and when we found out the news, I was scared for them because they are way too young. But the second that they put that little girl in my hands, I said, man, I have done this before. I know exactly what to do from here. And, and me and her are like peas and carrots. Oh, well, you can't be feeling too old, Garth, because your Thanksgiving special blew Lady Gaga's out of the water. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that was very sweet. And I got to tell you, the social media after was so, so sweet. There was a little girl that came on there and said, finally, I got to see Garth Brooks in concert. Oh. And I'm sitting there going, oh, I would love to grab this girl by the shoulders and look at her little sweet face and go, honey, if you think you've seen Garth Brooks in concert... <laughs> Get ready next year, honey. Uh, oh, 2014 World Tour is going to be. Cannot wait for your World Tour. Hey, I, have, I don't know how much you can tell us yet. Can you let us know if you're coming here to Salt Lake City yet? You know what? We we have uh, we have some dates rolling in the very first ones. Those will be announced when they're announced. But uh, the thing that we do know for sure is uh, fall of 2014, our youngest will be in college. Uh, me and Miss Sherwood will be empty nesters, and, and that's when we're going to fire the machine. You took some years off to be with your family, and now you figure, now that you're going back on the road, you're taking them with you. <laughs> Trisha. You know what? Uh, these girls, there's no way. You can't pin them down. It, they're in that stage where they're gone. I mean, it just them all three at the same place for three minutes is impossible so uh, the older two uh, I get to talk to maybe once a week on the phone and then the youngest one is a senior in high school so she doesn't have any choice she has to come home after high school <laughs> but, uh, but she's got another semester left and then hopefully she'll have the most fun summer of her life as a senior and then we'll get her off to school and then we'll fire it up hey you've helped launch the careers of so many singers and songwriters over the years including Lee Bryce who's now a superstar is there a name that we should be on the lookout for for 2014 you know what i'm just gonna tell you this i'm so glad i'm not starting out now because the talent level is unbelievable to be an artist or a songwriter karen rochelle is is a name there in nashville that everybody knows she's written songs for trisha she actually wrote the call uh, that we have out of the on this box set she's yeah. amazing um there's a lot of them uh we i got a guy named kim williams who i've written with uh, forever he's got a daughter named amanda that is just uh she is killer so there's tons and tons and tons of talent coming out of that. We're on the phone with Garth Brooks, and Garth, you've always been known as a man who, uh, you know, can press the flesh. So does that mean we're going to see a view more on uh, Instagram and Twitter, maybe a Garth Brooks Pinterest page? <laughs> you know what, man? I'm I'm starting to learn about social media. I've watched it through my children, you know, all these years. But uh, it's an unbelievable way directly to the people. Uh, my thing with that, though, is it's all going to be quality. That's all I care about. Quantity takes care of itself if you take care of quality. So uh, what I want is sincerity, and we'll figure out a way to get to the sincere ones. And then the other ones that just kind of come and go with the breeze, uh, there'll be other places for that. But uh, we're going to use our social media uh, to make sure that the people who really care uh, are the people that we're talking A lot of people say you probably shouldn't work with your spouse because it causes a <laughs> lot of tension. I mean, it's obvious you and Trisha work well together, but are there those tense moments where you're like, you can't get away from each other? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That probably is for her. You need to ask her <laughs> for me. I, I can't get close enough to that woman. I, I know I wear her out, but she just she's she's my best friend. I can talk to her about anything, and uh, you know when they say don't work with them, I'm going to work with her, and I'm going to live with her. So I, I guess I'm doing the double dose. Aww. <laughs> and since Christmas is right around the corner, do you have any plans on a gift for Trisha? Uh, you know what? No, she's really easy. And the thing, the the greatest gift you can give Trisha is get her around her family. Uh, she loves to go back to Georgia. And she loves to be with our girls. So we're just trying to figure out how to get that done because everybody's so busy. Uh, that'll be that'll be the big thing on the Christmas list. His name is Garth Brooks. There are no uh, bigger fans than us wow. right here in Salt Lake City with John and Amanda. <laughs> Garth, thank you so much for calling in, thank and we can't you. wait to see you on tour. Thank you, guys. Merry Christmas to you and your family.